As has become the custom over the years, any time I roll out policies and programs, it is met with the usual cynical and negative charge. It cannot be done. He is lying. It is a vote buying gimmick. It is not possible. One district, one factory was not spared either. The one district, one factory policy has been the forefront strategy by the president, Nana Akufuado to usher Ghana into industrialization. This policy promises to bring wealth creation and social transformation to Ghana, all through creating massive employment, especially for the youth in rural and urban communities, to improve income levels and standard of living. The One District, One Factory policy is one recent gate towards Ghana's industrialization, an initiative by His Excellency the President Nana Adodankwe Kufwa. The policy was first introduced to Ghanaians in 2016 as part of the manifesto of the New Patriotic Party. The One District One Factory, however, received boost on January 13, 2018, and this has led to a number of success stories with the establishment of about 58 different factories currently in some parts of the country. As the saying goes, a journey of a thousand miles begins with a step. On 26 August 2017, His Excellency the President of the Republic, Nana Adodankwe Kufuado, cut the sword for the first factory to kickstart the insurmountable One District One Factory initiative, which gave birth to the Kofi Fruits and Juices Limited, a pineapple processing factory in the central region town of Aysem, some 50 kilometers southeast of Cape Coast, to set the tone for President de Kufuado's One District, One Factory agenda. An initial capital of $350 million has been earmarked for the One District, One Factory project across the country. According to the President, two billion US dollars loan facility has been contracted from the Exim Bank of China for the whole initiative across the 216 districts of Ghana. In March 2018, the construction of the first factory at Kofi Foods and Juices Limited under the One District One Factory commenced. The facility is the biggest pineapple juice processing factory in West Africa with current production capacity of 10,000 tons of foods per hour. The Kofi Foods and Juices Limited has created employment for over 400 direct outgrowers at present. This, the factory hopes to increase the number to 5,000 direct outgrowers between the next three and five years as production expands. The Kofi Fruits and Juices Limited is as a result of a certain um, industrial discussion of um, promoters and industrialists who um, had the discussion about adding value to uh, raw materials in Ghana. I have an experience in some of these after investing for five and a half years I worked in a factory in Europe so um, I was part of this discussion and then um, with it coming into force starting with the promise of His Excellency the President uh, in the course of the 2016 campaign for the institution of one district one factory uh, we put ourselves together and said we could do something so that led us into deciding which areas we would want to touch to add value to what we have in Ghana. We, in this the discussion, we looked at a lot of figures and then we decided to do juices. Why juices? Because um, we saw that there's a, a huge import figure of juices into Ghana and that automatically told us that um, uh, juices will do well in, in Ghana as a market. So um, it brought us into discussing juices. In deciding for juices, we wanted to get which fruits we're going to deal with. We selected pineapple because pineapple is a fruit that can be grown all year round. Um, the account name for pineapple is uh, Aborbeck. And we are even told, per uh, the information we got, that um, there's a town in a Kofi called Abor, and that's where we did our first farm. We're told that, you know, pineapple looks like a, a palm, a bear. So um, this is where pineapple originated, we're told. And so it is Abor, Abe. That makes the abrobe that they can't say. So we said, wow, then, then this should be a very good story uh, to sell a very good product. So uh, we decided to cite uh, farms and then therefore the factory in Ekumfi. Ekumfi itself, uh, prominent 
the district of Ghana has produced a president of this republic. And so for a district that has produced a president, and I can count a number of presidents of Ghana at my fingertips, if we have them and we have one coming from a Kufi and a Kufi sits on a list of poor districts, then that is not a position of a Kufi. So His Excellency the President also received us very well and then he told us what he knew that we didn't know until we came, we got here. But he already knew, so I'm sure his promises were based on some of the things that he knew and he imparted to us. But he admonished us, he gave us three things to go to do, um, looking at what we said we were going to do to lift our people from um, the list of poor districts. So he said we should focus on that and then work to lift the people of Ikufi from the list of poor districts. That was the first thing. The second admonition from the president was that as much as possible we should be non-political and that we should, we should work as Ghanaians, get the youth along so that we do something sustainable and that leads us to the third thing he wanted us to do, to put up a project that is going to be first of all Ghanaian, cutting across the country and also outliving us and I remember that way so much, put in place a project that is going to outlive us all. So what he meant was that we should put in place a project that would benefit our grandchildren and beyond. And so this kind of thinking is what uh, brought this project into place. So our long-term vision is to, is to sustain the jobs that we are creating here and to expand. Um, we are at the moment currently processing 10 tons per hour and then we are recruiting close to um, 120, 150 per shift. We are looking at expanding our operations in the, in the years to come so that we can uh, employ some more. Our, uh, finish, uh, our raw material also generates other lines so we hope to expand to, to be a leader in generating a Kumfi as an industrial hub. The one district, one factory has impacted uh, the lives of the, the, the people of a Kumfi. I want to enumerate a few of them. Um, thankfully, Ikunfi is a project that was used um, as a point of contact to establish the one district, one factory and then the people, the chiefs and people are happy and proud of that. Uh, since coming to Ikunfi, um, we have engaged as we speak close to 400 of our people as shared growers on the farms and they have received salaries um, since then and they still receive. The second is the, the kind of um, employment we are generating at the factory. And that obviously includes people from the Kufi and its surrounding districts. So lives are impacted. Uh, we know a Kufi to be selling pineapples and, and, and other um, grilled meats along the roadside. We want them to, to introduce mushroom selling and then we're putting them together to do that. So generally, um, lives are being changed here. I'm going through building a whole factory through installation, through agronomy, and through processing, all in one. Um, we still have lives here, people have come here as cleaners, and then they ended up being um, uh, Tetra Pak machine operators, some have been stainless steel welders, some have been uh, um, expert forklift drivers, etc. The One District, One Factory policy aims to put a factory in each of the country's 216 districts within the next four years and transform the structure of the economy from one dependent on production and the export of raw materials to a value-added industrialized economy driven primarily by the private sector. The Ekofi Fruits and Juices Limited is expected to process about 300 million packs of juice annually for the local and export market. Expected revenue to be generated by the factory annually is pegged at 530 30 million Ghana cities. The factory, which is currently operational, has created employment for the indigents of the area, especially the youth and help to alleviate poverty. Here are some 20 fishermen who have come together as cooperative outgrowers to cultivate 75 acres of pineapple for the factory.
you have by the 70 acres. And I say, I have raised by the 90,000 of the factory. It's not there. We are yachting in the Jamaican pond, the Dimitinama, the Jamusim. But I will be done by going on Casanca and Casanca and go Asia. No weapons, no union, Caesar, in the Yenaba, the Behedi, the Sunday, the Saka Cry. You travel with us, the Saka Sky, and the Aboya Casanca, the Dimitia Pere. The dear as well, the Dimitian, the Ambassador, 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 this is the number of 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 the number papa <laughs> One is one fatty, Abba, the Kunjuanya. The other man, yes, a prana called Numu, I had a man, Papa, Zare, as you journey by every day, say, so see by the Babu man, a jet of Russian flash finny. What in a grandman, your boy, or a cofatter, the monument in the Nayad, Amakan, same room, and was a little dwarf, or by the English has it, no way, said the bad, your copper. It's my friend, the Biasin plan, I had it, your call, to make an end. Here, I overshare a gentleman's sister Ab, seeing one I won't get me a man or what I'm not a family name. Tabo Hen. Music will put a chin. I'm a mapa de Mekachre, a confirmed rent and in Katis and a Jumana was Aben on Yajma one, and to be a Momazin or the Hong Bishimibi. Never do your hobbies of a Sanka Yajma. The only shimmy year of Bobo watching. But <laughs> We share our farm or the Amma, a Juma, or my committed into the records of the Omaya, dear Pa. Since you are a general, yes, Pandy, because I work off at our capacity of the factory into this year. No, your plan is a 35 million, a better times two. Then your back also a multiply as time goes on. The One District One Factory seeks to ensure equitable distribution of factories across the country, create strong links among industries, agriculture and other natural resources, ensure rapid industrialization, create job opportunities and enhance wealth creation among Ghanaians. The Kofi Fruits and Juices Factory has a staff strength of 120 who run on a shift. The number is expected to double as production increases. The facility envisages to add on other fruits to its line of production. So what we have here are pineapples that have just arrived from the farm. Pineapples haven't arrived here coming to this water mass for two reasons. The first is that the water will just be cleaning, so it's like a cleaning agent in the pineapples. Another reason is that the pineapples haven't, haven't been detached from the plant itself, need some kind of um, cooling. Uh, we call it managing the stress of the fruit. 
itself to keep um, the race level intact. So, so the pineapples arrive here on the conveyor and they are still taken through cleaning processes. So there's a sprinkler here and that forces them against the brushes that we have here that also has a water mechanism to help do the final cleaning. After which they are dropped into this part of the conveyor that carries them up and drop them in the in the hopper. Now the hopper houses the, the crusher and the separator. So what happens here is that the pineapples are now crushed and then the mechanism inside this machine will separate the fumes from the pulp so that the fumes come out as a first level piece. That is that moves from the down part and moves out of the fabric. And then the pulp is taken through another process to squeeze the juice out. But the first level it's slashing the pineapples we shed some juice which we is harvested. The next level of pressing also shares some juice which is harvested. And then it goes to the last the rotary finisher that's that's the final pressing or the finisher and that takes the final juice. So the pineapples are now dropped into the hopper that houses the the crusher is a poly fruit presser that houses the the crusher and the separator. What happens here is that the pineapples are now crushed and then there's a separation between the peels and then the pulp. The peels now become the first level waste. So they are they are swept off through its own conveyor. And then the pulp is taken to another level where there's a pressing. And then it goes to the final one, let's say a rotary finisher that finishes it perfectly well. So you have three levels of juice coming and that is what you see up here. You have three lines of, uh, of juice lines going into the tanks. That's what they are. I'm just over one I'm an electrician. But when the house here goes down, I come here to come. So when everything goes down, or the pressure here goes down, I go back to my phone. So for now, I'm helping arranging the drains. Uh, so when the pressure here goes down, I go back to my phone. And for the one you and the I'm just encouraging every youth who, need, who is yearning for a job or looking for a job to come and apply because it's really good initiative. Right. Um, this is one of the initiatives of the one d one that we happen to have benefited from. Uh, so basically we are into producing fresh juices. The good thing about this project is the fact that we are giving Ghanaians an alternative in the sense that we are giving them we are giving them the option to, to choose better health. Alright? Better health for for themselves. And the fact that I also like being part of this project basically because of that. And uh, it's a good initiative. Ekofi Foods and Juices Limited has begun test and sale of this product which is purely natural and made in Ghana with no additive, popularly known as Eco Juice. It comes in two flavors, the pure pineapple as well as pineapple and juice. The product is in a pack of green and yellow juice boxes with one district, one factory logo only embossed. Ghana Beyond Politics will be visiting each of the 1D1F projects, so watch out in your community.